What is up, E-Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Impress. This is the 54th edition of this series. And I want to make a personal video about Taylor Gray. Before we get to that, let's get to know Taylor Gray. Taylor Gray is 16 years old, currently doing part-time ARCA racing. And he is the younger brother of NHRA Pro Stock Champion Tanner Gray. Tanner Gray is currently driving in the truck series. And I believe that's all you need to know from Taylor Gray for now. He's, he made his ARCA series debut at the Indianapolis Virtual Park one year ago. After that, amazing save. And I think he had a top five run until uh, he crashed. I don't remember where he finished them. So there's your brief uh, get to know Taylor Gray or whatnot. So I wanted to make a video about Taylor Gray because although Taylor Gray has done a pretty well done, like he's been having some solid runs, although Ark is not as competitive or good as it used to be uh, co competition-wise, um, he's had some solid runs. Although he's a pretty decent driver at least for a young kid, but personally, Taylor has been reckless. And what do I mean by that? So earlier this year, Taylor Gray, um, I think he got in trouble, like a fine for filming a Snapchat video during an ARCA testing at Daytona. And of course, there was a lot of backlash from that, which is very understandable because what kind of, what kind of an idiot would do a video on their phone while driving at a big two and a half mile surface speedway like Daytona at like what, 190 miles per hour? Who the hell does that? Like seriously, don't you have a GoPro dude? So yeah, there was backlash on that. And then I think April, um, Taylor uh, got into a car accident and took him a while to recover. And of course, it's, of course, it's never good to hear that Somebody got into a bad car crash and was suffering and all that. Of course, I'm not going to give him crap for that. I'm happy that Taylor made a full recovery. And he was supposed to make his truck series debut some around earlier that year. Earlier this year, I mean. But that hasn't happened. And then, as of now, Taylor's still doing ARCA. Part-time, still 16 years old. And as of the making of this video... He's going to make his arc, uh, I mean, NASCAR Kimberl Truck Series debut at Watkins Glen on Saturday, I believe. Because for the first time since 1999, trucks are coming back to Watkins Glen about time, finally. And Taylor's going to make his debuts. So, do I have a problem with Taylor Gray? That's what this video is about. The problem with Taylor Gray is that he's been pretty reckless all year long. I believe he won in Arca West race like a typical short track race and speaking of short track racing let's go back to saturday for the arkham menards race at winchester shall we all right so um daniel die and taylor gray were going at it for like what p4 p5 and then like daniel die was making a move on taylor gray Daniel Dye got into Taylor Gray, you know, just a typical Winchester, short track racing, all that. And then coming into the start-finish line, Taylor Gray turned Daniel Dye. Daniel Dye crashed, and then Nick Sanchez was trying to avoid the crash, and then Sanchez was part of it. So Taylor Gray took out two good cars that were competitive. And, yeah, everybody knows that, of course, what Taylor did was was wrong but it gets worse uh, on Monday uh, Daniel Dye said that he suffered a whiplash injury whatever that is and he suffered a mild concussion so not only Taylor Gray intentionally wrecked Daniel Dye but he gave him a concussion as well. Say what you want about the Ty, you know, Ty Gibbs and Corey Himes thing at Winchester. I don't care. They were going at it all season. They're even anyway. But how's, how are not a lot of people as upset about this than the Corey Himes-Ty Gibbs thing? A lot of people should be outraged about what Taylor Gray did to Daniel Dye. 
this is a problem with like young kids or rich kids. Like, there's no respect at all. There's literally a lack of respect for these kids. They don't know how they don't know how truly racing dangerous is. And the fact that Taylor Gray did that reckless, horrible thing to Daniel Dye, it's fucked up. I think that crossed the line for Ta- Taylor Gray. And I know what some of you guys are saying. Oh, but Ian Gim Brig is only 16 years old and all that. No, man. And it's just one. Number. No, 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 no. Like, the crash at Winchester was bad enough. But to give someone a concussion, that doesn't, what, piss you off or anything? If I were you guys who are not pissed off, I'd be outraged about it. Daniel Dye got hurt from that crash. And so far, Taylor Gray hasn't said anything about it. Like, what's the deal, Taylor? You're not even going to apologize to someone that you hurt? Fucking ridiculous. And I wish it was intentional, but hey, Taylor Gray did what he did. And personally, I really do hope Daniel Dye gets him back. I really do. That's just stupid right there. And I don't know what to say is that I don't know what to say. Like, yeah, Taylor 16. I don't care. That's inexcusable to give someone a concussion. That's messed up. I get that Taylor has a long way to go in his career. Like he will like mature and all that. I hope he does mature. I hope so. But this is fucking stupid. What well, Taylor did is stupid. If Taylor Gray got a lot of hate from it, from the Winchester incident, it's deserved. He deserves all the hate that he gets. And I'm I really hope Daniel Dye does get a hundred percent better. But this is just a terrible, terrible deal. It's kids like Taylor Gray that is that just makes like one of the reasons why you know like stock car racing is just embarrassing. You got rich kids like Taylor Gray just showing no respect to other competitors, and they just crash other people and just rough them up. And what, they don't, what, they don't, like, work on the cars, they don't do anything about it, They're, they have, like, what, their parents' money or whatnot, they just get away with it like nothing happens. And the fact that Arca did not, like, penalize Taylor Gray, I think it's stupid. I love the Arca Menard series, but that should not... They should not let that slide. It's fucked up. And the fact that Taylor Gray, the one who injured um, Daniel Dye, is racing trucks on Saturday. I know, like, I know, that's planned regardless. But still, the fact that he gets to go truck racing while Daniel Dye has a concussion, whiplash injuries, although he has a race going on, I know that. It's fucked up. That's fucked up. This should not be happening in any form of motorsports. I get that, like, the I like the short track racing, the Rubens racing, bump and run and all that. That's fine. But if you're going to dump someone and just, and then someone gets hurt from it, that crosses the line. That should be a limit. Like, that should not be happening. There's a reason why I was pissed off about the Sam Mayer Chase Cabry thing two years ago at Bristol at that time. When Sam Mayer took out Chase Briscoe. Uh, not Chase Briscoe. Chase Cabry. I'm sorry. I always get the wrong names. But when Sam Mayer took out Chase Cabry. Um, I was hoping it wasn't intentional. And then. After the race. Cabry did get hurt from it. I think it was like back pain or something. And when Sam Mayer admitted that he meant to take out Chase Cabri, that's how I lost respect to Sam Mayer because it's messed up because it's all fun. It's all fun in games until somebody gets hurt, and I'm sure Sam Mayer did not mean to like injure Chase. Yeah, like he meant to take him out, but I'm sure he didn't mean to injure him. But that it just made Sam look horrible. It just made Sam look bad, and that's what and that's what the Taylor Gray. A situation reminds me of. But 
except that Taylor Gray is reckless. Sam Mayer did a horrible thing, but Chase and Sam are they're chill, like and all that. I'm chill about Sam. I'm already over it as a Cabri fan. Um, like Sam did a reckless thing, like. Yeah, but I'm sure. Yeah, of course. He, I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt him. But for Taylor Gray, when he wrecked Daniel Die, Daniel Guy, Daniel Die got hurt from it, and still hasn't said anything or showed remorse or an apology to Daniel Die. Not only uh, Taylor is making himself look bad, but he's making, but he's he's being a coward. Not only that, it's like he got away with it. Like, no, he got away with it like nothing happened. This cannot be happening to not only Taylor Gray, but for literally any young driver or any rich kids. Sadly, it's been like a, it's been lack of respect for ARCA and the truck series this year. It's unfortunate. I want to see some competition. Not a fucking uh, demo derby kind of bullshit. If you want to go to a demo derby, go to an actual demo derby race, not a stock car race. The demo derby people will gladly take your money. And I don't know what else to say. I don't want to, like, try to repeat myself. Um, now you got young kids like Taylor. Um... Not only they're getting away with it, they're not like doing anything at the shop. I'm not really sure, but like, I don't know. It's like they don't do anything. All they do is just be in the car. They just race and that's it. And they can literally just struggle. But as long as you have money, that's all that matters. I don't know if Taylor has a like a rich. I know Tanner Gray. Like, Tanner's one of my favorite truck drivers. I know he's sucking. Um, I don't know if Taylor or Tanner, uh, has a rich dad or rich, they came a rich family, they came from a rich family, I don't know, but regardless, this whole stupidity needs to stop. As for Taylor Gray, I really hope he gets his shit together in his life. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. Like... One day, he's, he might hurt someone worse if he keeps being so reckless. Like, he, hey, he already injured himself. Like, if that's not a wake-up call for him, I don't know what is. But as for his, like, accident earlier this year, I don't know. I don't want to, like, judge anything or, like, assume anything. I just want Taylor Gray to stop being so stupid on track. Like, yeah, you can, of course, race... Against someone, like nothing wrong with trading paint, door slamming, bumper to bumper, bump and run, all that. But I don't want to see him being reckless by taking out a bunch of drivers. But as of now, fuck Taylor Gray. At the same time, I really hope he gets his shit together as soon as possible in the future. And that's all I can say. What do you guys think about Taylor Gray? Yeah, I know there's been. I know I asked about. I know I said something about that in the community post, and of course, there's backlash. About Taylor Gray. As understandable. But what do you guys think about Taylor Gray? Do you think he'll change for the better in the future? Do you think he'll actually learn? I hope so, but I don't know. That's on him. Whatever happens, that's on him. Nobody else. So, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say. And I don't want to, like, repeat myself by accident. So, I just want to say... <sighs> Sorry. Till 25 in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for listening to this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. I hope Daniel Die gets better. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Don't forget to follow my social accounts, whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting you, Nation. I needed to say something, and I'm happy I did. Um, Taylor, if you're somehow listening to this, please. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Think twice. Clean up your act. And that's all I got to say. Goodbye, everybody.